Is there an ADHD epidemic worldwide in classrooms around the world, and especially America? ADHD is attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. How common is this? Well, meta-analysis of 102 studies worldwide indicates about a 5-7% to prevalence in kids and teenagers and about 3.4% in adults when using DSM-4 criteria for the diagnosis. So the first question, why are rates of diagnosis increasing? It seems like everybody has it these days. So let's take a look at rates of diagnosis in MD offices from studies around the world. The 2013 study showed a rate of 2.5% in 2001, increasing to 3.1% in 2010. The 2014 study showed a bump from 4 to 9.3%. Here's one from 0.7 to 0.9, 2.5 to 4.5. The, the, the main point here is that the first sampling point, the rates diagnosed are much below global epidemiology rates. The rates in the second column are closer to global epidemiology rates. And they're plateauing there. There are some outliers, both above and below, but there's no evidence of any runaway train to be found in this data. So the next issue is that simultaneously, kids and teens who complete standardized checklists of ADHD symptoms show similar rates in line with global epidemiology figures, 5 to 7%. So, okay, what about runaway stimulant prescriptions? Let's take a look at some global data. In Australia in 2010, 1.24% of kids were getting stimulants. In Ireland, the rate went from 0.4 to 0.9% in 2011. In USA, the rate went from 4.8 to 6.1% by 2011. Again, this is in line with the global burden disease. So the take-home points here, global ADHD rates of 5 to 7% are epidemiologically established. Diagnostic rates are increasing, but they're only catching up to global epidemiology. When we give standardized tests to kids, the rates are steady. Prescribing rates of stimulants are increasing, but again, they're way behind global epidemiology, and they're just finally catching up to global burden of disease. 